Frequent viewers of our YouTube channel will know that we already have reviews of the Vauxhall Vivaro and the Citroen Dispatch ready for you to watch. That's two of the vans currently on the market right now that platform share the PSA Group's medium van platform, so I'm delighted to be standing next to number three, the Peugeot Expert. I'm one away from my full house. Now, this vehicle is a fleet operator's dream. It's a tradesperson's treat, and I'm pretty sure it packs everything that you will need in a medium-sized commercial vehicle. So, let's get under the skin and give it the Vanarama road test. Now, before we get started, I'd just like to say that I sincerely hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and make sure you click on the bell to get notified every time we post content just like this. And don't forget, if you are in the market for a brand new van or pickup truck, head to vanorama.com. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's start where we always do, at the front end of these vehicles. I mean, just take it in. Now, we've had a look at several vans that platform share this PSA Group platform. And I've got to say, this is the first one that I'm looking at which looks a little bit different. Now take in the grille, it's a new plastic grille, we haven't seen one like this yet, it looks really good. I love the big Peugeot badge in the middle and I like that it says Peugeot above it rather than underneath it, I think that's a nice little bit of a change up for Peugeot there. The black plastic underneath is very tough and very durable, at higher trim levels you would get fog lights as well, but this is the professional trim level so there's plenty of options on here right away. These headlights, interestingly enough, are a new cluster. Now, Vauxhall and Citroen share exactly the same headlight clusters, the ones that have these little loops at the end, whereas these, as you can see, look like teeth have been raked on the inlays. I really like it. It really sets off the front of the van really nicely. It makes it look very different. The big steel wheels, very tough, very durable, and I can say exactly the same thing about these big black plastic wing mirrors right here. They are very tough and very durable. Now. That is it really, I mean there are no height options on the Peugeot Expert just like the other PSA Group vans, but it's a great profile and to be quite honest there is so much space inside, the outside is very deceptive. It's a very compact profile but it's a really nice looking van. Now this is the professional trim level as I said, so the majority of the bells and whistles that we're going to be getting with that trim level are inside. So let's get in and have a look. Ah. And here we are in what probably looks like very familiar surroundings. And that is because, of course, the Citroen Dispatch, the Vauxhall Vivaro that we've already reviewed, they have the same cabin because they platform share. And this one is no different. Although, because this is the Peugeot Expert at the professional trim level, you do get a few extra options in here that make it professional. And I'll point those out as we get to them. So the first of them is this armrest right here, which locks in place very nicely. And it's very, very comfortable. Okay, so the steering wheel. Tough black durable plastic. What could be more professional than that in a medium sized van? It's very nice, it's very grippy, it's got some good little finger notches at the top here which I quite like which means that you will always be at 10 and 2. Uh, it's got a nice flat bottom so if you do lower the steering wheel it's not going to rub against your knees too much good bonus. Now you've got some control stalks down here, this is your selector for your music and your audio controls down here, you've got your speed limiter and cruise control over here and then the other stalks do exactly what you'd expect them to. The dashboard is very nice and clear and I have said it in every single review, the PSA Group medium van platforms driver information display is really nice, really clear. It's got these really interesting little notch shapes out of all the figures in the in the middle right there. I really like it, it's really great. Your rev counter is very clear, your speedo is really clear and uh, your oil temperature and your petrol gauge are also incredibly easy to see. Now the dashboard itself is nice, tough, durable plastic. You've got one of the uh, I'm not going to say disappointing cup holders, but it's not as great as other cup holders. But, as I know now, it can hold coffee cups absolutely fine if you jam it in there. It's the, pretty much one of the only areas it falls down, to be quite honest. Uh, you've got this nice central cubby hole right here, which is big enough to stash sandwiches, maybe a few spanners. I don't know, whatever you want to stick in there. Now, the infotainment screen is exactly the same as you will have seen in the Vauxhall Vivara and the Citroen Dispatch. Today I've hooked my phone up by USB connection, but you can also hook it up by Bluetooth as well. And it has Android Auto, which I'm using today, and Apple CarPlay. Brilliant. Now it doesn't have sat-nav at, the, at this trim level, but when you're hooked up through Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, just use your phones. Simple. Now, another professional trim level addition is air conditioning. And as you can see, you've got all your controls right here. You've got your fan speed there temperature here and the directional and flow and even your wing mirror warmers right there. Very good. You do have some blank buttons just below it. 
Uh, but there's your hazard light, your locks, your other lock, and your traction control can be turned on and off with this button right here. You've got a 12 volt socket here, that's very nice and useful. And there's your USB socket. As I said, my phone's hooked up by a USB hard connection there. Uh, and, and there's a nice little tray right here, which is perfect for stashing your phone. Now the gear stick is very nice and again, very familiar. Although this is Peugeot's version of the PSA Group Medium Van Platforms gear stick. It doesn't have the notches like you'd find on the Citroen and Vauxhall. Uh, and actually, do you know what? It's a bit nicer to hold because this plastic around the side, very nice and very smooth. This lining down here is not leather, it's kind of pleathery, but I quite like it. It's a nice uh, affectation on the inside. So let's have a look at some storage options. Here's your glove box, nice and deep. Yep, you'll fit plenty of stuff in there. You've got that strange sort of split cubby hole there, which I've seen in other PSA Group vans. I still don't know what it's useful for. And you've got this nice deep cubby hole here, which goes back, oh, quite a long way, but it has a lip. So if you shove anything in there, it's not gonna come out if you take a corner too fast, or you have to brake suddenly, or you speed up to warp speed. Now, let's have a look at these seats. This is the bench seat you get at the professional trim level. This one here raises up so that the ModuWork load through system can be accessed. And this one also has storage underneath it. Great addition, you'll fit sandwiches. You could probably even fit a couple of digital devices like a tablet or your phone in there just to keep them safe. The other thing you get at the professional trim level is your mobile office. This is also a part of the ModuWork storage solution. Rotate that out, you've got a nice sort of clipboard area to hold documents, which can be held in place with this bungee strap right here. A little compartment back here is a perfect place to stash some pens. And that folds right back in there and sits nice and flush with the seat. So as you can see, a very professional version of the PSA Group's medium van platforms cabin. But the professional end of this vehicle is back there. So let's get around there and have a look at all the space you have in the back. And the dual side sliding doors are a particular plus point on these vans. Now, these side sliding doors are 0.9 meters wide and 1.2 meters high. But to get a better appreciation of the loading bay, we need to go round to the back. Now, the back doors are 50-50 split. And as you'd expect on a van like this, they open up to 90 degrees as standard. But when you release the slam locks, they open up to a full 180 degrees. Now the opening right here is 1.3 meters wide and 1.2 meters high. At its highest, the loading bay is 1.4 meters high. Its width at its widest point is 1.6 meters and just between the arches that slims to just over 1.2 meters, which is perfect for sliding in and out Euro pallets. Now, this loading bay is 2.5 meters long up to the bulkhead, but thanks to the ModuWork system, the hatch of which can be pulled off from the left-hand side and mounted on the right under the other little yellow catch, when you open and flip up the seat, it extends the loading bay to 3.7 meters, which is absolutely perfect for those longer lengths of metal piping or bits of timber. This sort of stuff is what separates the Peugeot Expert apart from its competition. And speaking of the competition, let's take a look at some of the other medium vans available in the medium van sector right now. First up, it's the Citroen Dispatch, Vauxhall Vivaro and Toyota Pro Ace. Now this group are close relatives of the Peugeot Expert and they're a bit of a mixed bag with plenty of choices of tech and looks even without the option of those different heights. However, the PSA Group and Toyota have done a very good job giving each one a different vibe despite sharing the same platform. Next up, the Renault Traffic, the Nissan NV300 and Fiat Talento. Now this bunch of relatives have an edge with different heights available, but their payloads need a bit of work. Overall, there's a lot to be said about this bunch of hard-working and hard-wearing vehicles, but the one you pick will depend on the features you prefer. The Mercedes-Benz Vito. Now this one is the luxury option. With tons of options and variants to choose from, you pay for the three spokes, but then don't you always? Ah, oh, the VW Transporter. Now anyone who knows me knows I love this van. It's great looking and very user friendly. Payload is, in my opinion, the only place it very slightly underperforms. And finally, the Ford Transit Custom. Now, you cannot talk about medium vans without mentioning the UK's bestseller. It's the top performer because of price, function and running costs, and it looks great too. The King has a lot of life left in it with hybrid and all electric versions on the way. So there you go, a lot of choice and some truly strong contenders. In the end, make your choice based on the job you need it to do and you won't go wrong. So there you go, all the competition that the Peugeot Expert is facing right now. But who cares about the competition when we have a Peugeot Expert ready and raring to go? 
Let's hit the tarmac. Listen, do we really have to do this? I mean, it's just going to be the same, right? The same as what? The other PSA group bands we've done. Yes, we have to do it, and it won't be the same. It'll be completely different. OK, roger that. It won't. All joking aside, the PSA Group have done a great job, and I say it every time we review a PSA Group medium van, they've done a great job of differentiating themselves from each other. And actually, it's in the Peugeot Expert that the differences are most obvious. The front end is completely different. The back end is still the reliable, excellent and flexible load space that you know and love from the Vivara and the Dispatch. But it's the front end and the cabin, especially at the professional trim level, where major differences can be felt, especially while you're driving. And to be honest, the Peugeot Expert's interior is just as comfortable as any of the other vans that share the EMP2 platform. It's a very good and very comfortable cabin. The seats are the right height, I don't get any neck cramp while I'm driving them. The Peugeot Expert's no different, it just excels. It's a very good van. It's very difficult now, three vans in, to think of things that are genuinely original to say about this van. But I actually feel more at home today than ever. I've got my woolly hat in the little cubby hole under the camera. I've got my coffee just over here out of shot. I've got a bottle of water down here. I've got my vape pens in the side pocket. I feel more at home in this vehicle than I felt in most of them up to now. I think because this is the third of the PSA Group vans that I've reviewed, I now know where everything is, so I've already kind of worked out in my head where everything's going to go. I know where my coffee's going, I know where my hat's going to go, I know where I'm going to stick my bottle of water. You know, it's, it just feels like a home from home. So it makes me feel like if I owned one of these vehicles and I was driving it every day, that I could actually make this work. That's great. As a reviewer, I spend about a week with each vehicle, so I drive it around, I get to know it. So by the time I actually film the review, I've got seven days of using it under my belt. So this is now the third vehicle of the same platform, the same type, relatively similar interiors. And in fact, even more if you count the smaller vans, which all have similar interiors to their medium counterparts. So that means I've got about six to eight weeks of experience with these particular vans. So I'm already acting like I've owned this vehicle for two months. I just get in, I know exactly where everything goes. It just feels natural. It feels fun. I know how it's going to drive. I know how the two litre diesel engine is going to act. I know how the pedals feel. I know that now I'm driving up this hill that this vehicle will absolutely more than be able to cope with it. Dropping it down to second is just natural because I know that at this point in the hill, that's when this engine needs to change. I need a little bit of power to move into third. I know that when I just get to this crest right here on the Vanarama track, this engine will say, time to turn up to fourth. And I know that in just a few minutes around the corner, it's going to tell me to drop back down to third because I lost a little bit of power. Something quite nice about being able to predict things this easily. I understand how vans are used. There are people who say they're just giant toolboxes, and they have to be that. But anyone who says they're just giant toolboxes is not telling the whole truth. Tradespeople in the UK spend a lot of time in the cabins of their vans, whether that's doing work, filling out pricing orders, having to think about the materials they need to buy, having lunch. So you might spend more time in your van than doing anything else. So it has to be comfortable. And this is a very comfortable van. It wears the professional badge quite clearly on its chest. And you can see that in all the little features. It knows you need aircon, so professional has aircon. It knows you might need somewhere to stick your documents and write some orders up, so it gives you a little fold-down mobile office. It also knows that you might just want to be able to drive along with your arm on an armrest. So it gives you one of them too. Peugeot thought of everything. Under the bonnet is a pretty powerful two litre diesel blue HDI engine. Very nice, very powerful, got bags of torque. But what's even better is that it's a Euro 6.2 temp, which means that it's pretty much as ready as you can be for WLTP and clean air zones. Now that is gonna save you some real money. It's the older diesels that clean air zones are on the hunt for. 
not these ones. These are just about the cleanest diesel engines you will find on the market right now. And you can lease them right now. Tempted? It's actually really fun to drive. I'm on a nice wiggly windy country road right now. And like every other medium van I've driven from the PSA Group using this platform, it handles it admirably. Well done PSA Group yet again. This is the third van I have done. So I've done all the PSA Group vans. The last one I will do on this platform is the Toyota Pro Ace, which we have coming in later this month to review. And I'm sure it will be just as good as these vehicles with maybe just a couple of aesthetic changes. So, how do we finish this one? Well, the Peugeot Expert may be the third van we've reviewed that shares the excellent PSA Group medium van platform, but it does things a little bit differently. Now, everything you know and love from the Vivaro and the Dispatch is right here, but Peugeot have given it a little twist. At the professional trim level, it's got all those excellent optional extras in the cabin, but it's still got that same fantastic load space. It's the front end, though, that really sets it apart. So from one expert to another, well done. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified every time we post content just like this.